That shit is started in the flaws, honestly. That's beautiful, though. I fuck with it. Bro, this had me going this morning, bro. This had Robbie on them phones making sales, buddy. You want some hockey? Hey, go to a Kings game, y'all. That shit's fun. Take your man. Take your girl. Go get drunk. Go watch a fight. Hibachi is right down the street, bro. All the bars and Go to the one that has fish, though. Go to the one that has fish. Facts. Definitely go to the one that has fish. That's because if you not, bro, it's just a waste. I almost pressed, bro, low key. Really? Maybe they can go to. <laughs> bro, he. No, he, bro, like he said no nights. fish. And then he was like, oh, if you don't want mushrooms, you can't get vegetables. Bro, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? It was still good, but, bro, I was not Steve, happy he about got that. Bankrupt. Welcome to the baddest. <laughs> yes, sir. Bang. Sports bang. podcast. 102 of them tanks, baby. Of them things, baby. Welcome to the Sports U Podcast, where we read you sports news. And you listen to our stupid opinions. Of course, you know we are back with the Sports U crew. Yes, sir. You, of course, have Rob on the mic here. To my right, your left, we got yeah. Stevie in the cut. What's up with it? Of course, all the way across from us, we always have Big Drift, Big Drip, Drip, Tin from his book. <laughs> Episode 102 is at the helm, man. It's good to uh, continue to be consistent. Thank you Facts. guys for uh, pushing me into doing it today. Facts. <laughs> a lot of responsibilities, yeah. but hey, yeah. this should be one of them. Hey, kiss my ass, Adam. You're supposed to be here, but anyway. Hey, fuck uh, he made anyways. it to a couple other ones, yeah. so nah, man. I, it worked out. I ain't going to put him out there, but nah, man. <laughs> I'm not selling out guests. <laughs> I'm not selling out the homie. I appreciate you guys. But <laughs> let's start it off with the quick hit. So we'll go be into here. a rundown of our last show, get into some upcoming uh nba games and then after that some football sir two matchups there's yeah. really only two matchups that bro, i really like not, in this next yeah. week no yeah i did take a look bro is it's it not really, that it's not it a lot really, of good matchups is it me this or a lot of games this year have been very mid they no no very i mid. think they've been competitive it's but been with competitive bro with, with not stars like it's weird it's, yeah it's just a weird it's not weird. like there's no i don't want to say yeah it, there's no powerhouse no more it's that and then, like, pretty much some of the preseason teams we thought would be better, bro, are not doing so well. Well, it's yeah. Packers, Rams, Bucks. Yes. Yeah. Like, Broncos. those are all teams we thought would be shoe ins, and they're not looking good. Yeah, Broncos would be yeah, one, bro. Sure. Like, well, again, it's just teams that didn't meet expectations. Let's Definitely go into not. the Your first team. recap, then. Uh, you had the Seahawks. <laughs> Get your little two cents in, you cheap motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we had the Seahawks at the Cardinals, though. Yeah. Seahawks get the win. Yeah. Uh, an impressive bro. win, I feel like, too. Gino it was a convincing like a win, bro. God that was a convincing dude. win. Like, this is kind of a continuation of what we were talking about. Like, like last Nobody week, expected the Seahawks to be this good. No, no I definitely didn't. No. Last week against the Giants was a convincing win. This, I mean, now at this point, it's like, I think they'll challenge the 49ers for the division, but I think the 49ers are still the better team than this. I think the 49ers mm. are a better team, but they just seem to play towards, like, the competition level. And honestly, uh, it's mostly because they can't really score that well. But since fair. if they get Debo back with Christian McCaffrey, I don't yeah, doubt that that's they... That's why. Even Jimmy that's G, why like, they're more dangerous, I think he's bro. good enough to, to take them to a good spot. If like, Geno Smith is it's always a team good enough, Jimmy G must be good enough then, bro. Because nigga, bro, Geno Smith is one offensive player of the month and week. Bro, none of like whole, we yeah. we didn't think he'd be doing any of this this year. Definitely of course. Not. So if he can do that, I can't put Jimmy G out of reach to say he can't get a hot streak going for him. Why well, say that? Too. Although I don't like I think, him uh, that. Although I don't trust him that much. I think for yeah. this matchup though, it that. just kind of showed how uh, dysfunctional the Cardinals seem to be right now. Yeah, um, yeah. It, hella, it feels yeah. like that's the type of season yeah. that they're having. Hello, and it's also a continuation of By Cliff. Walker. Uh, continuing to be a force. Um, <sighs> Pete Carroll just continuing yeah. to coach the hell out of this team. Mm-hmm. Them corners. And then you also have, uh, have yeah, very, young corners. Very corners, corners, bro. And yes. um, a good left tackle, I think it was, mm-hmm. that they drafted for this year, too. Yeah. Uh, and then Gino, of course, being a, a highlight here. Get them. What do you have to say about Hotshot Murray, though? What do you see there? Is it? Cliff. His fault. I feel like he holds the ball a little bit. Cliff, by, Cliff, Cliff might be the next coach either, going, bro. Yeah, either he got to go or Cliff got to go. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure it'll anywhere. be Cliff. Cliff's going to be the next Cliff, coach. Cliff's got to get out of this here, season. Bro. 
Fitzpatrick. Either him or Detroit's seen, coach might get fired. Have you next. seen the hard knocks? With, it's, it it's, a in, it's an in season hard knock. Did it I, start? I watched like the first episode no, today did. when I was on lunch, bro. So it was this yeah. it started no, this no, no. week? Yeah, like it started watch, this week? I think so. Because uh, I was watching no, like yeah. highlights I'm and shit it. of it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch bro, it. I'm gonna watch it. You can you can just see from the, the highlights. Tension. Yeah. It's hell every offense, tension. defense, special teams, coaches, everybody's just walking on fucking glass and eggshells the whole time. It's 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 weird. And I don't know if it was like cause the D hop situation played that heavy of a factor in it. The defense lost its like start starness to it. The defense or maybe did Kyler's take... really just laying a big ass egg in front of us and we're gonna give uh, every other excuse I don't think in the you, world. You can blame the defense Kyler. took steps. Yeah, I'm not blaming Kyler. I'm but just I'm just giving I'm just throwing out scenarios. We can't but it's too much it's, it's what what time are we at right now? Right now, uh, five fifty-two. Five fifty-two. All right. Yeah. Cool. The defense for sure took steps back because, bro, JJ Watt is literally the only defensive lineman out there, and he's not even a threat to def- to offensive right now. Bro. Right. Yeah. Definitely not. He's the best lineman, and he's not threatening anyone. Definitely not. And he's not looking all the way like himself anymore they either, miss, bro. They it miss, just is what it they is. They miss Chandler Jones like. Crazy. Like the best part of the Crazy. Cardinals defense might be their linebackers, and that should not, bro. No, yeah, no. Yeah, I get no. you on that. Yeah, uh, both of these teams uh, underperforming. I feel like from expectations, especially with the big contracts here. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what what are the times at now though? Uh, six thirty six. Six. 36. We'll get on to the Ravens at Saints here. Yeah, so the Ravens bro. pull out the win. Um, I, I I don't feel like this is anything unexpected. No. Uh, Lamar continues to do his thing. He left some points on the board. Other than that, I really feel like he they played a, a pretty good game. Kenyon Drake was coming out pretty strong. Two yeah. touchdowns. Um, their they left- defense, I feel like it continues to underperform there. But I, overall, I would say win from just, the from the Ravens to win right. at home at the Saints. They left points on the board, but uh, I guess we should give them credit for not blowing another lead this game, bro. Because that's really what their issue has been all year, too. Blowing the leads. Part of it, I guess, has been the defense in the leads they've blown. But they've also had some offensively stagnant games in the second halves in the yeah. games they've lost. Too. They did even in that Be- last game, really. They yeah, didn't really yeah. finish on because uh, sometimes, touchdowns. Yeah, bro. Because even some – bro, basically, like, it seems like the Ravens come out with whatever their game plan is. And then, like, it seems like the second half – they allow the opponent to just make mad adjustments that they are don't always seem to be ready for in yeah. some type of fashion or something, bro. I don't understand that, but the Ravens are still dangerous because for them to even get in the positions they are, like, yeah, don't yeah, don't that, play I around, don't play that, around. That's them. what I was gonna don't say play too. Around them. Uh, even Shannon Sharp like kind of alluded to it, bro. <clears throat> the defense is is kind of scary when you think of not if they sc- play good they yeah. can be scary the, but right, they haven't they, played good enough this year right Ooh. this exact the defense the, Raven, the ravens defense yeah so like i feel like when it, like steven said when it comes down to certain adjustments and shit like that if they make the right ones bro i think they can get like a really deep playoff run this year but i mean so they came off a good dub against the saints they're going into the bye week this week and then they yeah, get a, they, they get a whole month, week bro, off no this whole month bro, they get a week off they have a lot of rest this and month and they didn't have mark hey, andrews all right, all right. they getting so, a lot of rest this month so me, that's going to help them out for, for me sure. yeah. i feel like um what i want to happen right and i think i'm going to be a fan of what i want to happen because i feel like it could be plausible too i hope they should that, win the division with i hope that the ravens not only win the too. division but they they um are able to make a deep playoff run one where they at least go to uh, the championship round. Hopefully, a lot of it is the responsibility of I Lamar Jackson so that I in the offseason, we'll he that. can either get paid or it seems like he's going to get franchise tag. Oh, he's getting, and I would hate for him to be his franchise tag. He's getting tag. paid, bro. And, uh, Ain't no way you're going to do I guess that the Saints, that I, I have really nothing paid. to say about the Saints. Because what is your other option? Thing. Right. It's you're gonna, you're not, gonna, not, you're gonna. It's not good. Not to cut you off, you're gonna franchise tag him. You're gonna piss him off, and you're gonna pretty much let him just walk out the door because he's gonna be like, "Fuck it." And I wouldn't blame him at this point either. I, I probably, I probably would just sit out, yeah, just right. because I, I'm, I'm right. used as a running yeah, back. Yeah, fuck y'all, I'm much. done. I'm taking hits. I'm done. But um, yeah, no, let's get on to the next right. one. Sign, timestamp. Uh, we are at nine forty four. Titans at Chiefs, and damn, I think we, I think we I picked the Titans, right. but. 
I it, think- the game went how <laughs> as best as we could have hoped for right. it. Right. Especially with Malik Willis starting, bro. I didn't know he was going to start that game. I didn't think he was going to yeah, start he, that game. I didn't know he started. was starting that I game. I didn't they think just, it was that bad. They just said, I thought Ryan Tannehill was just sick. Yeah, bro. I thought Me he too. Was sick. I'm like, is he uh, sick or is he hurt? Yeah. Like, what's going yeah, on? He yeah, was some, on the side, but I was yeah, like, he wow, was out there right. and all, yeah, bro. But I, yeah, honestly, something's wrong with him, probably. But the game went exactly how I thought it was gonna. How go. we could have as best right. as we could have hoped for. The defense for, played their their fucking defense ass played off. They had the lead. Derrick Henry was going crazy in the but first when half. It gets to OT. They just pressured the fuck out of Malik. Uh, and first, it sucked, nah, but, but, but even he in held the fir- to the ball. He, he did. He did. Long. And then in the second half, Pressure. bro, the Titans' offense was a lot stagnant, bro. Like, in the first half, they were rolling. They were getting Malik Wilson in good situations. They were getting Derrick Henry out there running the ball. He Like, Derrick Henry had those two touchdowns in the first half. Yeah. The second half, bro, they did not get them in as many positions they were able to get them in before. I don't I I don't know if that was the adjustments by the Chiefs or their lack of being able to continue what they were doing. Well, like, I, I would say it's the adjustments by the Chiefs, right? Like but they continue to talk about well, how this they, defense they is, did, is a little bit different. I said that beginning of the I feel yeah, I, no, I, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm but I'm yeah. kind of like just saying that in general, like if you're right, then you're right. But I'm just saying like they're able to do a little something on that side now. They can. And no more of course that, t- that that line is no joke, though, too. <laughs> you know that nigga was a problem. <laughs> Nobody to blame it on no more. <laughs> I, I, I still think the Chiefs are uh, oh, they're underperforming, I, I would feel like, from expectations that you would the have Chiefs? on the season. Yes and no. But, uh, hey, yeah. it's a, it, we still got yes a lot of season no. left. Not exactly. And uh, but it's, at but least he's u- utilizing the weapons a little bit better and they're getting used I to I would agree to his point because there's some games that the Chiefs are barely getting out of there. Like, even when they play the Raiders, they only won by one point. Division. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. I mean, okay. Okay. I'll give you that. One. Look how close the Jets. Look how close the Bills have played <laughs> against all their division opponents, bro. Come on. Yeah. Come on. And we and they're right now the number one seed still, probably. Yeah. Okay. Well, Only look honestly, the Bills may still hold on to the number one seed, but I think they they might get upset, bro. I I think that they're in for a roadblock right now, especially with the updates on Josh Allen. Time stamp, Gifton. Uh, 1231. 1231. The Bucks at Timberwolves. They win against these Timberwolves. That I feel like <sighs> yes. the biggest story right now is... is uh, the fucking team sucks. The starters This don't Rudy Gobert well. trade that is trade not was, yeah, working, no, yeah. bro. That trade this shit is not is working worse out, bro. And worse. Oh, my God. This is terrible. In a game against Giannis, you would think, oh, maybe their size would be. Was Giannis a, a even help. playing? That day, he should have been playing. I th- yeah, I think Giannis was playing. Okay, I think Giannis I can't was playing that day. I, I don't that think was he was like playing Friday. today. Yeah, but Giannis didn't play today. That was Friday, though. I think he played. It was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I think. He bro, played. Nah, but I mean, it's just we were, but we no, I, we all they, like agreed on it. Like, bro, this like, is they the have, worst they fucking have, trade. We agreed that this was a terrible trade, but we did say the Timberwolves have some bodies. Maybe they can slow Giannis down a little bit. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I didn't think it was going to be this bad either. Okay, so when we were speaking about it or when it first happened, I was saying that the Timberwolves' biggest part was that their defense wasn't enough. And then they got Rudy Gobert, so it's kind of like, okay, yeah. Here we go. Like he takes care of our weakness, right? And then we that's got, the only that's the only bright spot. We got killed but with because everything we said else, their defense wasn't enough, though. With everything else now, he messes up your offense. So much. The flow, the uh, the the different types of uh, defensive positions yeah. that you can get. That's into. Another, like yeah, that's last. another thing. It's just bad overall. Their offense can't function how it did last year yeah. with Rudy Gobert. They can't run down the court like even, that no more. Even like they Rob can't said, space the floor yeah, anymore the, like that. Like anymore. Rob said last like, week, yeah, no. spacing is just gone. And well, he's not gonna offer any space. Bro, I was like, and it's wild that they're still running a four out one in, four out one in, and it's still like. Bro, nothing is getting done here. It's not wild. Anthony they Edwards have is, to do it. No, nah, but Rudy a- Anthony there. Edwards is just fucking like on the wing, just standing stagnant as fuck. Eh. I'm not crazy. too worried about that because it's not that you're worried about it though. Because but guess you where want his him defender to be is? Able to... Right on him, and he's like two feet from the three point line. If I have my defender uh, right I there, mean, I'm doing my job. I'd rather have that defender going to Rudy. 
But Rudy's not a threat. Why would you want him to go into Rudy? Rudy would have a one Because if Rudy was a threat, he'd demand it. some sort of double team. But well, he's not. He's not. Okay, so <laughs> that's, yeah, it's, that's it's, what it's I'm not going to work. So um, I think that's the biggest story. Uh, but the Bucks keep on rolling. Nothing crazy. What are they, 10 and 1? I just think it's a. Uh, no, I think they're one, still uh, undefeated. One loss, no, one loss, one loss, one loss. Well, they they lost over the weekend. They lost to the Hawks. Yeah. Yeah. The Hawks. Oh, they lost to the yes, Hawks. it was the Hawks. Because you know why? DeJounte Murray had six steals that Hawks game. Hawks did go Damn. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. The Haw- he had six steals that game. But it was like four or six steals, but he was. Going I don't crazy. think the Hawks are necessarily afraid of them, though, because they. No, nah, definitely not. Because. Bro, do you see how have, the Hawks is playing? They. It's not even about that. They got remember they still got a little history. They saw each other as a conference final. Right. Well, well we're going to speak about yeah. the Hawks a little bit later. So let's keep it all there. Cool. Because sure. uh, we were talking about the Bucks at Timberwolves. Let's get on to the let's next one. It. Timestamp. Cool. Fifteen forty-seven. Bring it in. Blazers at Suns and who won that game? Suns the Suns won. won by it was a close one. No, it was close by like five points, something like that. I don't remember. Because I think Josh Hart hit a good shot, and then Devin Booker hit it for game or something like that. Uh, I guess good to see the Suns, you know, not cast themselves away. In a sense, the the Suns are still kind of proving that they can be a a good threat when it comes to the playoffs. It mainly just depends on health because I've already seen Chris Paul sitting out a game today. It was a 20-point game. Was it really? I thought it was Uh, close. I thought it was close. But didn't they play twice? Maybe. This weekend? Not this weekend, but this no. this I know month. Josh they, Hart this hit month a, they hit might a have buzzer yeah. beater. Okay. This sure. month they might have. Okay, but it was a twenty. Good thing he said something. But anyway, yeah. Um. Oh, oh yeah, that was a different game. Oh, okay, so that was, it was a different, different game. game. I was like, right, no wonder okay, it sounded yeah, familiar. I was like, right. that didn't sound right. <laughs> like I remember okay, the buzzer beater, but I was like, I don't think that was that game. Okay. For sure, it wasn't that but, game. But. It's good to see the Suns still get out there and solidify themselves in a sense. The Suns needed they get back though Suns on that needed, game yeah, because, sure. like I told you, that Not first from the Blazers. Yes, they did, bro. We'll the first the game Mavs. they played. No, bro. I don't think they can get yeah. it from the Mavs, even if they played perfect, bro. <laughs> that I don't think they can get it. from Remember the, Mavs the first ever. game when NBA first started? I said let's cover Blazers Suns when it was the Blazers at home. And I shit it on. And the for Blazers sure. won that game. Mm. Y'all niggas said no. Yeah, like I said, I shit it on him for yeah. sure. So I was like, "Fuck no, we are not talking about this." I game. didn't. So again, good that the Suns got their get back. That's what I'm gonna say. Like, I, I like that. That's what that is. They yeah, got man, their get um, back, bro. Watching the Blazers, they have a lot of talent. Uh, I think this is an anomaly right now, but uh-huh. it looks. We'll see it how, looks how it goes. Fun, but because when it, it gets to the playoffs, I feel it's like not uh, Chauncey fun. Billups, you know, is a main leader. We're gonna talk about them a little bit later though too. So let's Chauncey get into Billups this last one. Time stamp. Seventeen fifty one. Might be. We gonna see how serious he really is for them once the playoffs come. Facts. Though, because again, like we're saying, oh, because they're young right now, they're doing this. But if they can continue to look how they should in the playoffs, bro. Right. That chopper going crazy. You hear that shit? Yeah, bro. God that's crazy. God damn. That shit flying low as hell. Yeah. But we got the Celtics at the Grizzlies, and Time the Celtics time. pulled off this dub 18-18. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, because I'm always, like, going, and then you ask me for the no, timestamp. Yeah, yeah, every time, though. Whatever, that's going to be a thing now. Anyway, Jalen and Jason uh, Jalen and Jason still doing their thing. Malcolm Brogdon looks really good. Marcus Smart looks like he's kind of cool just being on, like, the back end doing the dirty work now. I think he should be. Now he should be with Malcolm be. Brogdon on the team. Yes, no, now he should, he should be. be. But yeah. last year, no, because you had to have that Marcus Last Smart. year, they needed him. Right, they yeah, needed him. Sure. Now but it's yeah, more no, so just Marcus like, Smart. hey, bro, we just need you to run the team when Malcolm's not <laughs> on the floor, continue to play great defense as usual, continue to be a nuisance, knock a couple shots down, because he's still giving you, like, what, 13, 15? Who? I mean, Marcus Smart? Marcus Smart. A game, that's like 13, average, 15? Probably 13. 13 now? Right, because Malcolm Brogdon's there. Yeah, so like 13 and then 30 Maybe, on a good day. I wonder day. if it's less. That's funny. Yeah, it shouldn't be, but... um. Who knows, yeah, bro? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just see. Maybe, who knows? The if email Margaret, shit might Malcolm really be Brogdon's fucking with him. putting up more than a 15, it could be. Yeah. Um, uh, the one thing I just wanted to say, though, is... He's doing only 10 points. Really? That's interesting. Score, shooting forty percent from field goal. Wow, twenty six percent from three. He wow. doesn't have to score. Right now, now, I know. He, no, no. now he doesn't. So no, no, but, so. 
They needed That's hard. more. He they, had double digits assists in his last like, three games. Is he starting or off the bench? Like last season, no, he's, they, off the he's bench. probably off uh, well, the bench. Well, it, it goes back and forth. No, nah, but, but still, the seven assists off the bench, that's hard. That's good. That's yeah. hard as fuck. But yeah. But yeah, I think the main thing I just wanted to say is how long do they keep this great basketball up and then we get to the playoffs and it's kind of like, oh, who's the man? Well, we'll see. We'll see because we're going to talk <laughs> about them later too. Uh, I just want to speak about the It's Grizzlies hard to read them niggas low key, bro. Right. I think the like, Grizzlies. Can, they play hella Ooh. good, the Celtics, the Celtics. bro. Because they. Wait, we're going to talk about them later. Oh, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> so that's how I was going to talk about the, the Grizzlies real quick, and then we'll be done with this because we need to get into the other topics. All right. Grizzlies, I think they got to worry about their defense a little bit more. Shrimple. Maybe. Yes. I, I don't. Yeah. I, yes. I, I, no, I think yeah, they're too reliant yeah, they on should. certain things. They should. They're too reliant yeah. on Ja. Uh, bro, even today, they had they they won today, but it was only a two point game against the Spurs. They're not too reliant on Ja. They lost Ja last year, and they were having a winning record still. So. I think uh, just the big their biggest. That was a regular season. I understand it's regular season. You're always gonna need your star in in, in postseason, but it's still really early in you this. Can't season. say they're too reliant on Ja just because they lose a game without him in the postseason. That's where okay. you want him to shine. Okay. All right. I'm just saying that no, 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 I, mean, I no, think the Grizzlies yeah, I... need to catch it early, that their defense is not producing like it used to. That's fair. Yeah. Something because that again, you should look out for. Yeah, they they had a game. Bro, they only beat the Spurs by two today. Who's on the Spurs still? I have no Tell idea. Me. Keldon Johnson and who? Uh, <laughs> exactly. Jakub Poto? Uh, is he still there? That yeah, nigga's a so. bum. <laughs> yeah. okay, I'm not bum talking too. about the Spurs. I'm not talking about Pirtle. Yeah. But um, let's get into the NBA. The first topic. The reason why we do uh, the damn show in the first place. The first. Uh, Drop me some. This, like, uh, I, I pressed something and it just didn't go out. There you go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sixers at Hawks Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Mm. Pacific time. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. So the Sixers will be without James Harden once again after Harden suffered a foot injury a few games ago. A whole yeah. month. Well, fuck whole it, month. One whole month. I'm surprised. Oh, I thought. They were uncertain about one it. Whole whole yeah, because I thought somebody said this Bleacher. man's season was over, Bleacher bro. Bleacher reported it like a couple days ago. He's going to miss the whole month. He's going to miss his whole month. Yeah. That's not that bad, bro. I thought his season was over. He was like the main part of it. Yeah, like, yeah, they I thought they were like James Harden. Like, yeah, so I thought they, I thought they were over. like they were making it seem like, oh, James isn't coming back till the playoffs. I was like, bro, what? Yeah, they made. Well, nah, they should make the playoffs still, even if he. They misses should. That they much should time. still be like a three seed, three seed, four seed. Not without James, bro. It's a weird year, and there's a lot of good. Uh, I mean, the Pacers. Are, are, are They're not a three seed without James, bro. I'm just saying that there's a lot of competition in the East still. Yeah. There's a lot because, of competition yeah. in the East, yes. And that's why they wouldn't be a three seed. Well, and then you have Young. Mm. I guess he hasn't faced Philly in, uh, what, nearly a year? So the last time he did, he put up 25, but the sa- but the time before that, he put up 12 points. So Dang. I even think 25 for Trey Young, such a ha- held at such a high standard against a playoff type of team where it's potentially – a, a, a good matchup. Mm-hmm. We want to put up more than twenty five points. Right. It's not going to be all on him. Look at that roster. But looking at this game, it's at home. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, Dejounte Murray can show up, bro. But before, he's been showing up look, every game. Though. I know. <laughs> what twenty two? With what you're saying about five Trey, and though. like. Five eight. and five, yeah. yeah. Like eight. Yeah. 22, five, but, 22, five, 22, and like eight and five, six. eight, and five. Nah. Because they have like five steals and it. five rebounds. Isn't Maybe, he leading bro. in steals right now, too? Or top three? I think he's top three because okay. I, I feel like um, OG Ananobi's leading in steals. No, it's uh, I Grand did. Theft Alvarado. Is no, he really? Kidding. Oh, I was like, yeah. Probably, yeah. though. Seriously? I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, um, d- d- did you answer already? Who are you taking? Who are you taking, Bob? Oh, I haven't. I don't think I have answered yet. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I, we cut somebody off. But uh, who are you taking, Bob? Go ahead. Me? Yeah. Um, if I look at it right now, okay, I'm gonna go with the Hawks. Mm. They're they're at home. I think the Sixers will still have to get acclimated to James Harden being lost because he was such a big part of it. Um, I also can believe that this guy Joel Embiid. Has done it before. He can do it again. Can take over games and really uh, uh, set his mark into it. So, um, 
if they if the Sixers win, I don't feel like it's gonna be because Tobias Harris. I don't feel like it's gonna be. <laughs> of all niggas, Tobias, you, you could have said Tyrese. That's Maxey. the last nigga I thought Tyrese you said will win said, the game. Well, he's bro. getting paid like he should be doing something, bro. We've never. I'm. I know in we never. Three seasons. It doesn't matter. He's four, not he is getting, in three to four seasons. We've. We can count how many times on one hand we've said something about, oh, damn, Tobias Harris won this game. <laughs> on not, one fucking hand. In the regular season? <laughs> All combined, bro. bro I, I've seen him He's drop not like winning the game. Like, okay. <laughs> he can he, drop, bro. Doing something. He can drop that 28, wins games. but they're not winning the game. If somebody gets game. 28 points, that's, you like can basically win because Yo, this person went off a little bit. Not by himself. Not today. It's not a team sport, league. of course, if I'm yes. saying. If to, if Tobias Harris is dropping twenty eight, you're like, damn, we better win that game. But because you he does, me? bro, no, you feel me? You say that, but because, oh, bro, bro, he's right, not why are you average. interrupting, bro. Like he's not. I didn't average. even say anything that we couldn't agree on. <laughs> I don't agree. <laughs> you got, no, you didn't. What did you're I not. say that you couldn't agree on, bro? If he if he could average twenty eight, he's not. I never talked about averaging twenty eight. No, I know, but I'm like, we wouldn't even be. If Tobias Harris, I said, look, look, look. All I this said way. was they're not going to win the game because of Tobias. If Harris. Tobias Harris, <laughs> and you said yeah, and but you wanted to emphasize look, stop bro. mentioning oh, Tobias man. Harris. If Tobias Harris is averaging twenty eight, this is a losing team. <laughs> That's how I feel, bro. This is not about Tobias, and you're not about him. I know, you, but oh, I, just I to, know I wanted to say that. <laughs> I did want to oh say that. Oh, my goodness. Great energy, If he's guys. on the team, Great energy. they're losing Great if energy. he's averaging 28. But I think, I love the energy. you know, Maxie, I, I feel like can can, can uh, settle the score in a way. I like Tyrese But I think Max. that yeah. uh, the Hawks have all their tools. They're at home. He ain't got none for let, this. Let, let's, uh, let's be real, man. They, they got a better yeah. team. They're going to win this game. Not by a landslide. I think they're going to be too close. I in, in a close like one. 10? But it's going to come down to, like, a... Free throws. Man, this shit a landslide. Fuck all that. I'm Ooh. calling it a landslide. A Hawks landslide? by a landslide, bruh. Ooh. Fuck all that. I'll say it. We got to get that. I ain't yeah. pussy. Go, go ahead and warm that button up for me, big dog. <laughs> go ahead Man. and warm it up. Go I didn't want to pick one that's going to do that. Warm it up. No, it's not. I, I don't feel Hawks. this way because of the James injury, though. No, but I I think from like the beginning, no, of, think, from the start of the season, bro, I'm I'm real big about the Hawks this year. I really like how the team is constructed, the bench is constructed. Nate McMillan has, I think he's finally convinced everybody. Trey to Young fly has in. a Robin. Trey Young, Trey, hey shit, he might be Batman. He might hey. be Batman. He got something. He might be. He got Batman. something now, bro. He didn't <laughs> have that two years ago against Giannis. Definitely not. But yeah, it's just Fuck. it's good to see. Atlanta at a peak right now. It's good to see them really just bounce back from the fucking uh, Nigga, Demar John, Carroll days. Bro, real quick, real quick. John then, Collins, Kevin Horter. The next one. They weren't doing this. Definitely OG not. and Anobi, three leads the league with three steals per game. Okay. Dejounte is, second, is second, two and a half. Fred Van Vliet, Shea, see, I and knew then was, Jimmy. I knew was Jimmy tripping. Butler. I Even the lead that I told you Murray OG. and o- OG have right now is kind of crazy. Hey, listen. They got a little gap. Yeah, I feel it. And on then that. you see Fred Van Vliet in there, too. All right, Raptors. There we go. Right, Time stamp. 28 uh, 24. 28 24. Nuggets at Celtics Friday at Ooh. 4 p.m. I like this game. I do, too. I, don't I think playing. that the That's Nuggets a game, bro. have a yeah, lot to prove game. with this. Um, <clears throat> let's, let's say this much real quick. They're holding, uh, th- the Nuggets have at least this. This uh, type of, um, I guess you could say, advanced metrics, right? Yeah. The opponent shooting numbers aren't just ter- bad or terrible. They're in the, like, I think bottom fourth of the league. 25th in two-point field goal defense and 24th among forcing turnovers. Notice that none of their players were on the top steals, guys. Right. Uh, during the <laughs> beginning of the season, of course, uh, but some well, of this is, of course, turnovers. reintegrating Murray and uh, MPJ. So, if you think about it, the Celtics look good on both ends of the floor. I want the Nuggets yeah. to win. I want them to have a spark after this game. Maybe those top three that we just spoke about who are trying to get back into the lineup and, and, and feel acclimated. 
can uh, provide a big spark here, man. It's uh, in the Boston Garden, so you can make a big splash if you get into that. Definitely. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. You can. We'll see what happens, but I, I think if I had to logically pick, though, the Celtics are are the main ones, man. They, they have a lot of good chemistry on both ends of the floor. I think you guys were talking about it earlier. Um, even with the new coach, they're still doing the same thing. Coach is analytical. Bl- yeah, cover threes. Get open threes. I just don't really know if Jalen Brown kind of fits it anymore. What? Really? I mean, he's He's good. Batman! He's good. <laughs> he's, I think he's Batman! Great. I just, whenever he gets the ball, I don't think he, like, flows. But he does his job really well. Like, that's he's a great player. Ah, uh, I don't, I'm. I don't think you should trade him. No, nah, definitely. I mean, I'm just saying that, do, like, man, he's I'm the one that you, doesn't flow up, with the offense. I would rather give up Jason Tatum than Jalen Brown. I swear to God, I can get so I'm much really, more in return for Jason Tatum. I'm on Tatum. that side right I now. I swear too. to, I swear to God, if I'm the GM, bro, I'm giving up Jason Tatum before I give up Jalen Brown. Wait, wait, but hold up! I even wrote this quote down from Jason Tatum. He was saying how uh, it's a lot easier to break down defenses in the regular season he says because i know hard how hard it is to score in the playoffs in the finals when everyone's focusing on you so much being quite honest you realize during the regular season it's not as intense and there are more mishaps on defense from other teams that's great show me in the playoffs and then yeah, i'll be convinced exactly show me like, in the playoffs and i'll be convinced you, like, so you think that nice he's taking he like the easy that. road here and in, in the in the Get, like chalking up his numbers in the regular season, but when it really counts, like it's he's not, not there. I wouldn't call that taking it the easy route. I just think he had one bad I series. I just think. Mm, I think you guys are being overreactive about it. It's he's not. Still great. Uh, great I'm not saying we're well, overreacting. I, you know what? I here's with more, him, with more attention on with more attention being heat. paid. Jalen Brown was still doing what he had to do right. while Jason Tatum did not on the biggest stage. And right and and that's he exactly one, what I was going to say good games bro. when it really mattered. Like his scoring average Jaylen may Brown still be higher, 30. but Jalen Brown consistently I like Jalen Brown a lot more like I wouldn't like, want to trade him. I'm just saying when I'm watching the game like he doesn't flow with the offense the same way the other te- the other guys flow with it. But here's to be honest, he does what they want him to do. Whenever they need a bucket, go get it. I know you He's can get to the foul niggas. line. And, yeah, on the other side, you're going to most likely guard their second They're best kinda, player. The Boston's kind of... Or the best guard. Or the best. Boston's kind of stuck in, like, a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Because it's like, we can get rid of Jalen Brown because the, the asking is going to be so high. We can probably get fucking some great players and some great picks or, and, you know, uh, try and make a push that way. But it's, then it's like... Do you really want to give him up because he's playing better than Jason Tatum when it matters? So it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. I think I think you have to have the one of the best players of like a generation to win a championship like this. And if you look at the last like okay, okay yeah, how many okay how many championships has it been like when every single time it's a generational player, right? Yeah, you know, Kawhi had his time. It looks like his body's breaking down on him. Definitely. LeBron James is now too old. I think it's going to be either Giannis or Stephen Curry once again. Yep. Just because, hey, Steph Curry's right there. The but Warriors, who is better than either one of those guys in taking are, over games like that? I don't know if the Warriors are a shoe in again for this year either. They got to they're going to have to they gotta fight for it. But no, they're gonna why, why can't they for sure? They've already but done it before. I'm not saying they can't. I'm just saying it's not a shoe in. Is, is this the year we see Luka finally get his? They look better, bro. I'm not saying they won't, but I think the Grizzlies and the Mavs are kind of those teams that are that haven't gotten there yet that would be next up for me. The Mavs, yes. The, the Grizzlies, Mavs, no. Why not? Uh, Jaron Jackson's still not in playing, uh, nor is he right, like right, making right. an impact. Jaron Jackson, okay, but the team itself, bro. We had a chance to speak about the Grizzlies. Yeah, my bad. We'll, we'll, we'll keep on the Nuggets and, at the Celtics, so go ahead and make your guys' final opinions on it because I don't even I'll remember. I'll go them. Celtics too, bro. Celtics. 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 I got the Celtics. I think I'm going to go Celtics too. 
I'm going to take the Nuggets on this one. Because oh, I th- thank God. I think I'm going to go, with, and I'm not just taking it just for the sake of the show. I'm more I hope so, you are. I more so just want to see, like, one, Bones Highland's really good. Two, I want to see MPJ take that next fucking step, bro. Because he's, no, he's, he's who he is. He's I'm, just, but you got And he's coming off an injury. That, really fine, you he's got really all that money, and you're just doing, what, 12? Come on. He's coming you off an look, injury. Look, bro, I, no, think, I get 12 it. coming off an injury is still better than Aaron Gordon. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think Let's Aaron, get that straight. I think Aaron Gordon's starting pretty good this he, year. Yeah, Aaron Gordon's starting, having a pretty good start. But, I mean. After we clowned his ass. Well, that was last yeah, year. but I mean, Jokic is Jokic is always, and then like we had talked about, I can't remember if we talked about it earlier off the pod or before pod. Um, I I want to see Jamal Murray get that spark in him again and just take the fuck he off. He just balled out today, bro. Or yeah, better. but I I want I want he, 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 I want that every game. <clears throat> Damn, I gotta go with Jamal Murray. I want that every game. Just give him some time. Yeah, that's bro. what I'm saying. Just I just, I think yeah. if they if they if they do this like he was saying and they get that spark. Sky's the limit for them, yeah. for sure. Yeah, they, 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 they definitely don't need have, it. They haven't gotten that back all the way yet, but that's why right. I, they I just need one the of Celtics. them. They just need one of them to turn and, to one by the end of the season. Yeah, and realistically, well, yeah, because of also because of that Pacers little matchup with the Nuggets we saw. Hey, but the Pacers can hoop, though. <laughs> all right, right, we're not going to get on two another team. Not, like I know, my that. bad, my no, bad, my bad. You're right, they can, but... I'm. I still think the Celtics are probably better than the Pacers, bro. So again, yeah, I would. That's yeah. I'm going. That's what kind of has me lean more towards the Celtics because of also how I seen them looking with those Pacers. I got you. Again, I just feel like they're analytical. They got a good coach and they got a great team. They're coming off of a good run. They're motivated. Should be well. Um, timestamp. Uh, we are at thirty six thirty three. Blazers at Mavs, Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is Luka's year that he's going to win MVP. I'm going to say it now because it's definitely his turn. Well, the last, what, six well, nice games? nice guess after a, a smaller sample size, I'm just saying, say. but the last six games, he's put up 30 points. Yeah, bro, but he's yeah. winning MVP this year. He's averaging <laughs> it's 35 and 36, it's, it's and you're his, like, Oh, it's yeah, he's going to win MVP, guys. It's like, his turn. Well, man. It's his turn. I'd rather give it to him than Joel. You really took a Joel lead. Joel should have had his last year, but they robbed him. You really but took it's a going lead, to, it's, going, it's going. You really gave it to somebody it's, it's who really. Going, it's going to Luka. I didn't expect Shut him to get it. <laughs> Nigga, it's November. It's going to Luca, bro. It's Luca's turn, I'm telling you. It's Luca's turn. I mean, it's he's not having a good start. It's his fucking turn. If it's his turn. January through April, he shits the bed. I'm not he, saying he will he because does, he does I know it. he's not going to do that. But it you know, should be his year. Saying. It's his turn. Should be. He has to still show us. You got to have all remember year. that generational talent. He has to thing show I, that all said, year. Though, you know? mm, he's, I, I feel like he fits that that frame. No, he does. But I'm just saying, like, do you feel like Jaw fits that frame? Just to be real, real does quick. Jaw fit that frame? Yeah. Mm. I think he's really, really good. But yeah, dude. Generational yeah, not? talent. Like, oh, he's generational last. talent. No, but he was like, oh god, that team is no, good. no, no, no. But like, but you remember when, when, the when the Mavericks good, won, and bro. and Dirk, okay, yeah, like Dirk wasn't a generational talent, but he was that one that got it done. He wasn't a generational. He bro, paved the way. Wait, he paved the way for unicorns, whoa, whoa, but whoa, 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 whoa. he's a generational talent. So how can we gonna do it again? So. How can we gonna do it again? Generational talent. I think. Uh, I, I, I I think don't he took get, out I a lot of Spurs Dirk and, and honestly, Lakers squad. He's one of my favorite power forwards, but generational talent. No, because there was a Kony Kukoc his... before Dirk before Dirk Nowitzki. That's before him. Who, right. Who, who in that era was like that? No one was like that, bro. The young OKC. Yeah, he he and, and Tony Kukoc. Miami. Wait, I, yeah, they just got together that year. But up. Miami, but, but the Tony Lakers, Kukoc, the they Spurs. swept the Lakers that year. Hold up, Tony, to get to Tony the Kukoc finals. Isn't seven foot though. Six eleven. He's not six eleven. Yes, he is. Tony he's Kukoc. a guard. Tony Kukoc. Fucking he's a guard. Forward, but, no, he's a forward. No, he's a forward. He's not a guard. No, he's not he's a guard. You're tall. thinking of fucking Kirk Dude, Heinrich. He is six eleven. Right, I'm not tripping. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I, know he's I don't know what I'm talking about. Nigga, the Bulls. Yes. 
You didn't I watch thought the this nigga was a guard though. No, bro, that's fucking John Paxton. No, he was he was a good. Was a I good felt guy. no, like but, I knew Tony Kukoc. Was I knew just, who was he like was. A small forward, but power Dirk forward. I thought he was way better. Than Tony yeah, Kukoc. No, no bro, he was, but I just feel like. All right. Uh, uh, but we got to get back. Yeah. Uh, Since we're talking about the Mavs. Uh, I'm taking, yeah, but like I said, I'm taking the Mavs on this one. Who you guys got? So, uh, I was reading I was reading an article and it was saying how the, right now, the Chauncey Phillips-led Trailblazers are actually playing defense. They have the talent to do is it. That, we were speaking about Shaden Sharp. Is that a surprise? Sharp. I think that is a surprise. Who else? Now, yeah, because it was they, cooking the shit out of them last year. They were in the year. bottom three in the last three they years. They didn't have shit. Again, they were in the bottom three the last three years, even when they did have stuff. They well, still have pretty but, much the uh, same squad other than but, a couple young studs. But they had Terry goddamn Stotts or whoever that guy was. Bro. Exactly. Little Stotts. What did I say in the beginning, bro, of, of my statement was they're talking about Chauncey Billups led. Trailblazers yeah. give him their credit on the defensive side, but and you're like, like, yeah, Terry Stotts. Like, I'm yeah, like, but like, but he's Terry. He, he was not <laughs> mentioning him. It's Chauncey Phillips. I know, but that's what I'm saying. We're those other teams were led by Terry Stotts. That's Blazers the difference all along. Chauncey Phillips is for real, guys. And uh, guess Be what aware. else? <laughs> They're not relying on Damian Lillard to make all those heroic types of of, of shots there. Don't so, have to. Phillips. Uh, let me say this much. I think his name is Roy Rogers. Uh, he was on the Clippers as a defensive type of of coach. Mm-hmm. And um, Chauncey Bills was uh, looking to pry him away from the Clippers so that he can get him over to uh, where he is at with the Blazers. That is the main guy who is bringing to you this type of defense, apparently. So, mm-hmm. we'll see how it goes going forward. Maybe mm-hmm. they can hold it up. But, yeah. It, they made Rodgers a lucrative aquifer, and he was able to do what he was able to do so far. So we'll see if they can keep it up because, like I said, man, once you have – it's like it's like if Damian Lillard is the quarterback of the team. You can have your supporting cast, but as long as you have a good defense, you can do a lot with, uh, with that type of player. He's a great player, man. Yeah. Pop off a 50 randomly. Is he a generational efficient. talent? No. But you never know what you could do with no, a good defense. I, no, I know. I, yeah, you you are a thousand percent right. I just had, you know. Had Look to how far the Celtics there. went. Yeah, and Jason Tatum's good. Not generationally, but he's good. He's getting, bro. I've I watched him and he look, gets what bro, he wants. Bro, I'm, it's if you tough. go look the after some of the names season, we've yes. already said that I've are, seen, bro, after some of the names we've already said that are not year. generational talents, I'm not calling Jason Tatum a generational talent. He's really, really good though. But that's also a really, really good team. Like, look at all the talent on that team. So yeah. he's not so, generational. Uh, that team. It's true. Like, if you look at the teams that have won, they have that type of player on them. So, but he hasn't won. Who? Jason. Yeah. He was there. He was close. I don't, nah, I don't, I, close. I don't know. All right. Six Anyways, games. yeah, but uh, we're at forty-two fifty. Let's get into some fucking football here, cause I'm actually excited for this game. Week nine, Vikings at the Bills Fuck Sunday, yeah. ten a.m. Pacific Fuck Standard yeah. Time. Really this is gonna be a good one. It sucks that it's it's early game. I'd rather it be like a Monday night game or the last game I'm on a still Sunday. Gonna fucking watch it. No, I'm still gonna watch it for sure. Shit, but, the Patriots right. are not playing. I'm seeing. I'm I know catching who you got gifted. What's up? What's up? I'm trying to What's get up? some money on. Who does he What's have? up? I think he has a Viking. Me and Kirk going all the way. Yeah. Shirt Virgil, pants purple like I'm Kirk Cousins. I, I got 20 on it. I got a dub on it. All right, we can do that. You're betting on yeah, the Bills. Yes, sir. Are you taking the Bills? Bro? I'm taking the Bills. I'm taking Kirk in them purple pants. Wow. Hell yeah. Wait, wait, hold up. We just made a bet here. You know Rob loves to gamble. He's sick. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, what the bro, fuck? how the hey, fuck did you get in my house? Oh my god! You're crazy. For real. Hey, bro, come on, oh man. You can't just be fucking. Nah, bro, you can't just be running to niggas' houses and shit. What's wrong <laughs> with you, bro? <laughs> He's all right. <laughs> Come through, hey, bro. Hey, man, we got a, a half me. Nel- dropping applause Cheers, for Half guys. Nelson in this bitch. What's I up, guess man? so, man. Dropping applause for Half sir? Nelson. 40 minutes in. <laughs> yes, sir. Good, What's up, boy? 
Man. He brought the yes, goods. Right, well, yeah, he, he brought the, the oh goddamn God, goods. Bro, he got brought some cooking wine. God damn. Yes. All right. This is, this is the Pudo. You can cook with there's, that. There's, I got three clean cups right here. Who you can make it? a steak with that shit, bro. Yeah. I'll take one. make a steak with it. I'll take one. Fuck yeah, you <laughs> Bro, bro, you, you just, came you in the just... party, bro. <laughs> hey, yeah, shout yeah. out to my man's, bro. Oh, that shit fuck. crazy. It's like 20 <laughs> minutes after my bedtime. <laughs> Nigga All just right. picked it up. That's crazy. Yeah, this shit's warm. Another as fuck. round of applause, bro. <laughs> shout out to Adam. <laughs> let, let's uh, this one. Half no, Maldonado. This one. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you, sir. I don't know appreciate where you're you. I think he took the mic away. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm good. not sure. All right, we'll we'll wrap it up pretty quick here. Or you know, we're we're getting into it. We're on the last few topics here. It's, it's a Vikings, Vikings at Bills, Bills, and we just dismissed it. We had a twenty dollar bet here. Yeah, they made a bet. We got the Bills. I didn't even. I don't even remember our our bets, Adam. So we got to settle those pretty soon here. But anyway, uh, Adam won, got some. He won ten dollars. Adam did sure. get one because the Pelicans won that. That's game. just one. Then the Jazz yeah, win two? three games. So then the Jazz win two though. I think it's. I think it's I twenty know. to ten. He had the Packers, and I won that one. Yeah, so I think it's like twenty to ten. Yeah. You guys had another basketball game too. I can't remember. But that's grape juice. Nah, it's sweet red, bro. Nine percent. That is great. It's a whole lot of red. That's grape juice. It's a whole lot of red. Terrible, bro. You... Vino is worth that. Terrible album. This is crazy. What is this? It's not terrible. It's good. Jeez. Twenty one. It's good. I was talking okay, about no. Cardi. Um, Vikings at Bills though. Stevie, who you got? I'm going Vikings, sir. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Vikings. Finna go eight and one. Or seven and one. And by God, I said preseason, hey, the Vikings could have a really good record at this point. And they fucking did it. All right, let's check it out. Ready? But also, all right, the Josh Allen injury is a little concerning. But what? What? Also, what, what elbow, happened? Elbow, oh, elbow. is his throwing arm? Ooh, yeah. So check it out. The Jets banged his ass up. They're, uh, the Vikings have a 15th ranked offense, 25th ranked defense. Yeah, their defense is not great. And the but. Bills are the number one offense and then top four defense. Really? Fueled by Stefan Diggs mm. and Gabe Davis. And they lost that many games still? Yeah. And and think about the game. They're, they're going to lose. Win, dude. <laughs> they're going to fucking lose. I'm saying it. They're going to yeah, fucking lose. They play, they play to the competition of their opponents. I think so. It's different. Yeah. They're going to play their competition of the Vikings and get their ass cooked. I think it's going to be a close well, game. They won't get cooked. I think it's going to be a close. Lose. It's going to be a, it's going to be a touchdown. I think they'll lose. The Vikings average 24 points, the Bills average 27. If if Josh Allen doesn't play, that's sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, that's he's going to play. He's just going to suck. Mm. He's going to be running the ball. Which is oh, okay. He's gonna yeah I, okay. I was like you better not be if he's gonna be elbow. He's gonna be devil. He's gonna be Devin Singletary. Bro, 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 I hope he gonna walk off the field with a need a new Tommy John, bro. Uh, I hope not. But man, well, Vikings have Bills. I got the Bills. I think uh, they have enough. They have good plans and they have enough weapons to make something happen. No, yes, no, man. yeah, um, no, they, it's it's they have it's enough, even both ways. But it's even both ways. I think, well, I think the Vikings think have potential, Cousins, but I think Kirk Cousins feeling. I think they're. Right now, bro. I think he. I did think you I see that? Know, man, I don't think that. So Adam, they after the game they won last week, a right? Kirk get, Cousins is a white he, dude. They right? played shit. They too. gave. And all, all the teammates gave him all his chains, all and he's just chains. fucking dancing on the plane with it, bro. With no shirt. With no shirt. After being seven and one, you know how much trust they putting in that man. But he wants, to take bro. them to the promised land. Do you know how this sh- is the year, bro? bro? Do you know how shit they were playing before they actually won that game? Yes, and they came Again. back and won it. Kirk Cousins is having an un Kirk Cousins like year, bro. right? Low key, right? Low key, well, we'll see what can happen in this upcoming game if Kirk Cousins can beat Josh Allen at home, and Josh Allen has no signs of. Oh, uh, you know where, like you know, damage. Look, bro, injury or I, not, I'm sure that they're gonna Kirk play Cousins, Cousins can on a go new there and do level. what he needs to do in their building. I'm giving him his respect. I don't give a fuck about Josh Allen's arm. I'm just saying, if there's another excuse, they're not gonna give Kirk Cousins his flowers. I will. On to the next one. Time seven and one is already uh, enough. We are at forty-eight fifty-six. What was the last one? My bad. I didn't pull it up here. Uh, Chargers at Niners Sunday, 520 Pacific Standard Time. Damn, they made that. That might be game. ugly, bro. That might be ugly because. That's a good game. Who you got? 
Oh, man. I want, Niners. I want is the Justin Chargers Herbert to win. playing? I feel like he's hurt. No, Justin he's Herbert's playing. playing. He played last game. I want, I want Justin Herbert. I, I want think the, the Chargers, Chargers lose. Win. I feel like the Chargers have uh, a lot going against them. Yeah. The 49ers somehow seem to figure out a way to lose, um, unless it's against the Rams. Two of their wins have come <laughs> oh. against us. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, they're 4-4. Four and four. You're right. But... So then why are you saying it like that? Because, honestly, they, they lose to bad teams. Maybe. This team isn't terrible, but and the they're... only reason why they are bad is because of the injuries that they've had. Yeah. So they still have Eckler. They still have Herbert. They still have their defense. I, I that defense is them. ass. No, we're not even giving them credit. Uh, they're ass. Ass. <laughs> ass. What do they do? All right. They have playmakers. Yeah, but they don't win. A, they, they, Justin Herbert's doing it. I don't believe in those guys. Yeah, Derwin James is good, but the defense, bro. Thank you. We thought they would be better than this. You thought they would be better than this. I did. I did. That's, that's why, why you're mad. Not, yeah. I'm, exactly. I'm not. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck that. They're ass. They, I didn't expect that. They are no this. better. They are no. They are of no better. Of course, they have injuries on them, man. That's fair. They lost their best uh, pass rusher too. Khalil Mack been kind of looking all right. But... I'm talking yeah. about Bosa. No, he came I back. Know, but Khalil Mack. Drake Bosa came back. Already? He's back already? I thought he was another game still or something. No, because he got well, the first time he had like the groin injury or whatever, right? Yeah. He came back from that. How? It was like two to four weeks, wasn't it? I thought it was Check like that. six to eight. That's why he went on IR. If it was that, that was, short, I thought that was he wouldn't TJ. have been on IR. TJ went on IR, but Nick Bos Joey Bosa went on IR too. Joey Bosa went on IR, bro. He was definitely on IR. There's no way it was just two Bosa's to four weeks. Return. I don't think he's back. Yeah, it, no. There's that. no way he could be back. He's on IR. What does IR mean? Injury, injury reserve. reserve. So like you're hurt. Like, so like that's, you're, you're working. Your they're way literally to come back. taking. You're literally taking your off your your roster spot so they can allow someone else to fill that spot because you're hurt though. So you chose that person in fantasy football, you're fucked. IR. That's what that shit means. IR. Uh, I I uh, mean, if you draft a guy yeah, bro, you're fucked. This and he in, gets put on IR, you're not going to be happy. October, if, he, if he's not coming back, it said, you're not going to be said happy. It's expected to miss 8 to 10 weeks with yeah, the groin. He's not bro, bad. He's not really? Back. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm like, there's no way he's bad. How do these guys get hurt like that? Like, how? You're well, there... when you're a defensive... On the, you're, well, when, when you have a huge schlong like, like Joey Bosa, <laughs> sometimes hey, you gonna have to get off this. Couch. It stretches a little you too much. Start tripping over you it. Have to get off you this start couch, tripping bro. over it. What's wrong with you? You gotta get off the couch. Hey, you gotta get off the couch. <laughs> this nigga's tripping. I'm just saying. Don't. Oh, man. Oh, no, dude. That's well, not what we were bro, looking when, for here. When you're, a, when you're a big dude like that on the line and you're kind of just like, you got to give your body up for the team, for the success of the team, weird shit like that. They get into happen. a lot of contact, bro. Yeah. They get into bro, a you lot of slip contact. a little bit. you that big, but you don't stretch. God, Some God. of them niggas be getting pancaked. My inner hey, thigh. Double teams. I guess when you put double, like You got to fight double teams, triple teams. You like, already know my it, sound. It's so the tr- it's really the trenches the tr- the the no, line the, is really the, line the trenches is the, the sure. line is the trenches bro the the tr- all right they call so, it that for a reason uh timestamp uh fifty three oh five fifty three oh five we got our predictions for the NFC let's and go AFC. Niners four five or oh five cool fifty three oh five or four five fifty three oh five oh five yeah predictions for the NFC championship I'm taking the Niners in that game by the way. Oh, did, who I do you think they, they play, sorry, bro? The Chargers and the Niners. I'm taking the Niners. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Niners, bro. Taking the Niners. I got the Chargers. Ooh, you want to bet on that bitch? Yeah. You gonna put your money on Jimmy G again? Yeah. You not to say like that. that. What's up? You wouldn't you trying to do another dub? Yeah. Wait, didn't he win you the last one? Though? He did. Yeah, he he paid, did oh yeah, you bet on the Rams. He did win me <laughs> one. Hey, yeah, what's up? <laughs> the another Rams. dub on it. Shit. Oh, yeah. Porn bros for life. Beating LA oh, should be easy for these it. niggas. It's over. If not, I'm winning my shit back with Kirk, so I don't care. NFC Championship, though. Uh, who True. wins Who wins and who they're playing? NFC, the Vikings. 
versus the Eagles, no? Yep. Bro, it's your pick. No, I'm just are they are the Eagles in the NFC? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I think they're gonna beat the Eagles by a touchdown. And the and the Vikings are gonna go to the Super Bowl. A touchdown? Yeah. I, I'm convinced, bro. I'm on the Viking bandwagon. Man, this year. you really, I ain't gonna hold you. You really you really have a hot, lot of hope for Kirk Cousins. I sure playoffs. fucking hey. do. I sure do, bro. That's crazy. They right, go look, ahead, go ahead. They what look got? great. NFC championship. I think the Eagles make it for sure. Mm. Mm-hmm. But bro, I'm kinda taking the Niners over the Vikings. <laughs> yeah. Because the because the Vikings do not have a good enough defense like the Niners do. Right. And the Niners I, do I, have a lot of I, weapons I, I, on offense. I give a little too, bro. pushback on that, but okay. Alright, here we go. I give a little pushback on right. that. I got <laughs> <laughs> the, the Niners got a better line, but as far as like linebackers, corners, and safeties, Niners have better linebackers too. The right, front shut up. seven is shut better. Up. Uh, I got the Bucks. Really coming versus up in NFC? Ooh, versus the Eagles. No, what no. the fuck? No, the, yeah, Eagles the, get, the, the Eagles get taken out. Bucks uh, in the first round. Yeah, I think it's gonna say they get taken out the happen. first round. Eagles, yeah. As a one seed, yeah. Nah, so. no way. I think that's gonna happen. No way. It's happened, happened but I don't think Could that'll happen. happen. Yeah, but I don't. Nah. Nah, I think uh, I think there's a hungrier uh, NFC. I just, team. but but my whole thing is with the Eagles. Not better. If no, nah, not shit's better. Not, this Nothing, shit's nobody's not better a, than them on paper. Nah, but this shit's not a fluke, bro. Like if they would have lost think, already, they'd I think lost. if the Cowboys meet them in the playoffs, ah, uh, that might be pretty. It's that, possible. That would be a good game, but it's possible. Cowboys gonna get smoked again. Well, I no, don't know because you. What did you say? It's hard to beat a team twice. Well, not only it well, is, they got to play each other twice. Already, they play. That'd be their but third. The biggest thing is that'd be some shit. If you have that type of line, and they and and he's very disruptive. That guy Michael Parsons. <laughs> yeah, he can Michael Parkin shit. But I definitely I mean, think uh, you're I right. You're hey, right about the lines. But I think Tom Brady li- got it in him. After him seeing seeing him be my Rams, <laughs> <laughs> bro, he's basing it on that. Beat the Rams, no, no, shit. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> beat the Rams, and you're <laughs> you're a shoe in. I guess. The way, the the way that he in, won, I'm no. like, all right, maybe maybe he's back right now, and now he's just gonna go on this l- good by ass six, run by a touchdown though. Everybody's still there for that team. They go one by three. I think right, the only three. thing that's bad, I guess, is they still don't have a, 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 a good sure tight end, great. and the right O-line line. isn't yeah, the O-line. best, but Tom Brady can get over that. It's the running game that can't get over that. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But I think, I, I believe that Tom Brady can have it in him. Nigga Nowadays, like 50, man, it looks, nigga he looks like pretty 50 good. 50 pass attempts. Mm. He did that 50 times. He's doing what, what they're game, asking yeah. of him. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. AFC Championship. Let's get that done. Oh, okay. So, Chiefs and... uh, uh Chiefs going back to the Super Bowl. <laughs> who yeah. are they playing? Versus who, who do you think they beat there? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's... The Bengals again? I, I That would be like my only... That's like a a confident pick I have because the Broncos is ass. The Raiders fucking suck this year. That shit's just disrespectful. And Why do you even division. bring them up? They're in their division. I'm just bro. bringing up the division. Oh, so I mean, the only other confident pick I would feel, especially after they just beat what the Panthers by like forty. Who? The, the Bengals. Oh yeah, the Bengals. Ah. The Bengals. Still though, it's good to see. It's good to see Joe Mixon getting multiple touchdowns in the game. Yeah, he Five went crazy. Home. Crazy. He All went right. crazy. It's good to see Joe Mixon still have his legs underneath him. But I mean, <laughs> other than that, bro, like, who are the Ravens in the AFC? Yes. <laughs> they're uh, in their division. Who? Nigga said, "Are they in the AFC?" The Raiders. No, they're not. It's the it's the Chargers, the Ravens, Broncos, yeah. Raiders, you said, Raiders, uh, the and Bengals. oh, it is the you said no, the Bengals. They're I, in the same. I, I meant to say Ravens. I meant to say Ravens. Are the Ravens in the NFC? No, no, they're in the AFC okay. North. I mean, oh my bad. I meant to say a- my bad, y'all. This is AFC why this North. My ass. Okay, with so. the Bengals. <laughs> well, you're not even drinking. We are our second cup, bro. We are. I'm drinking. Um. You know what? No, I take that back then. I'm going to go with the Ravens. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm the I Ravens. wasn't. Look, I'm going to go with the Ravens. I wasn't mad at your Bengals pick, though, bro. Honestly. No, but but I'm thinking, like, damn, Lamar's looking way better than Joe Shiesty. And also, Lamar's doing more without his, you know, A1 quarterback. He's not A1 looking quarterback way quarterback better. Receiver. He's not looking way 
look. All right. All right. So you're you're all right. You're picking the Ravens. Yeah. All right. I don't think that sounds crazy. So you're going Ravens versus Chiefs. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm thinking that too, but again, the Bengals one to me is not crazy because I think the Bengals would be my third team in the AFC right now. Bro. Right. Mm. Because they're starting to get hot right now. Right. They're. I think right now with the way their momentum is going, I think it will carry over the rest of the season better than what the Bills is looking like right yeah, now. Yeah. And also, the so Bills, say, ha- the Bills you, have their hands full with their division, bro. Are you saying uh, Chiefs-Ravens? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Chiefs-Ravens. Chiefs-Ravens. Are, are you saying that too? Yeah. That's a good one. I I. I I I was kind of thinking like, about I, it. I, I, it's I, don't real. Get me wrong. That's I, a realistic I, I one, bro. I love Joe Shiesty. But Lamar is just moving a little bit better than Joe. I'm putting Ravens <laughs> because I think they will win that division. So I think they should and be able to handle the to Bengals earlier, if they get through. Them. The Ravens defense is looking pretty scary. Well, they they're, they're blowing. Mm, leads. They're looking better. They're which, looking which, uh, better. They're get, the Ravens they're looking defense better. is looking they're not better. Scary yet. But and then two, the Chiefs. Are a very beatable team. It wasn't like a couple years ago when when Tyreek was on the squad and nobody touching him. No, Tyreek, if you play damn near a good game, you're gonna lost, win. But they just lost. I don't know with, about that. They lost last year with Tyreek on the I'm team. Just, I'm not gonna uh, say okay, that. Well, okay, yeah, fine. But I'm just saying though, the to beat the Chiefs. If I'm Lamar, I'm not scared of the Chiefs. You can say that, but I think the Chiefs are kind of a little bit harder because, like you said, Tyreek's not there anymore, uh-huh. so you can't kind of just – you can't bank on Mahomes just trying to go for that home run play anymore. Right. So, so you, it's you – well, you have to think, bro. You really have to try and think and outsmart Mahomes. Well, okay, so I – Every I play. I definitely have the Chiefs in there. I think that – you know, there's always an unlikely foe that comes into that uh, type of game. And I feel like the Bills won't have the necessities to get into the, to that facilities, man. Um, <laughs> so that kind of leaves you don't the have Ra- no capacity for that big man. So that kind of leaves the Ravens they and the Titans, right? With the AFC East. I mean, I, I'm, I'm cool off the Titans. The Bengals are probably like this, the only threat to that I, team. Yeah, I, I think you yeah. can't, you know, let the Dolphins in. I think the Dolphins will make it. I think Ooh, they make the playoffs. Yeah. I think you do the Dolphins because that's an unlikely team that gets there against the Chiefs. Chiefs win. Uh, Tua gets the the right recognition that he deserves. The other mm. guys are continuing to do his th- their thing. All right, look. I, I see them getting there, and even Mike McDaniel's is his new uh, Sean McVay. The, the I do Dolphins. have a little something to say about Tua though, because they're trying. They're they're doing all this shit. Oh, Tua and Tyreek's the best duo in the NFL. Nigga, y'all just said that about Mahomes and Tyreek. So why are we... So yeah. because of that, <laughs> yeah. I'm not... I can't just automatically give Tua all this credit when I know that nigga Tyreek was already that serious of a threat. Right. Tua's good, That's but he's dumb. not He's not that guy like so, that. So another, so another quarterback gets a Who weapon. was he doing that with before Tyreek came? Hold, hold up. Okay, what... Well, you, okay, if you're going to say that, then say that about Even when Rock. he had... Bro, why don't... Let I, me finish, bro. You asked me right, a question. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, if you're talking about it like that, then Aaron Rodgers losing Devontae Adams, like, that that should have been something. Look at him now. Aaron Rodgers so, has been good The same thing if you give somebody Devontae weapons. Devontae Adams, though. Yeah, but I, I understand that. But he also had weapons. He had Randall Cobb. He had Jordy Nelson at the same time. He always had a, a good tight end. And then, of course, he had different types of running backs there, too. <laughs> I, you're right. I agree with that. No, I. So he always had weapons. You you need weapons. He he's got weapons, and when he's starting, they don't lose the game. Okay, but again, I with two, I'm just saying, like I think with they the Tyreek, it. it's though, an unlikely Tyreek, game, but it happens though? all the time. No, I Look, I hear the Bengals did it last year. Yeah. The okay. 49ers did it last year too. All right, yeah. he had Jalen Waddle last year. This nigga had Jalen Waddle going. 12 for 77 yards and shit. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah, bro, but with the defensive head coach. <laughs> I guess. And Tyreek Hill definitely opens up a lot more for this other cat. Yes. So yeah, that, yeah, tripping. That is, well, yeah, no, he, he definitely opened it up. That's why he's still doing what he can do. On to and Jalen Waddle can get yards. 
Super Bowl. Mm. So I have, I guess I had had the Chiefs, right? Because I picked the Chiefs to win. And then yeah. they're going to yeah. face the, um, who did I pick for the NFC? The bu- uh, the Bucks. Oh, man. I, That's crazy. Yeah, see, the Bucks go back? Yeah, I, I don't see, think I they're going back. back. They is, have the same it, type of Is it possible? Okay. Yes. Is it going to happen? I doubt it, bro. I think I think I that it. Tom Brady, when it's time, he continues to show up time and time again. I won't count him out this time. Um, but no, I think the uh, I think the Chiefs win it out though, and Tom Brady retires after heading to the last Super Bowl. I just see the Chiefs uh, being able to run shit in the NFL for a long time. Yeah, talk about generational talent having to have that to to win championships. He's definitely one of them. Yeah, and uh, Tom Brady. As long as he wins, the cha- gets to a championship, I feel like he can put this shit. To Win bed. or lose, he can. He, you think this is put it. this shit to bed? I hope, but end off on a high note, man. I feel like it's kind of too late, man. Same. I feel like it's too late with Tom. You're too late, bro. <laughs> I was a late bloomer, but it's all good. Um, <laughs> I'm going with the Vikings, man. I've been riding the Vikings God all season, bro. Me. I'm going with the Vikings. I'm going with the Vikings to win a championship. Yep. Justin Jefferson's about to get his first ring. Dalvin hey, Cook's Google. about to get his first ring. When was the last time the Vikings won a championship? God, 86. Fucking Revolutionary War. 1969. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nigga, that was before my mom's was born, bro. <laughs> my mom's Sue, G. 69. <laughs> shit. My dad was around, but wow. 69. Yeah, you expect oh them to win a championship? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, CV. Uh, fuck. I think an AFC teams wins the Super Bowl, bro. And I did pick the Ravens, so I'm gonna have to go Ravens. Mm. That'd be insane. Oh my God, that's the biggest fuck you money you gotta throw to Lamar now. Oh, yeah. you gotta give him. Nigga, I'm asking you. for three hundred million. You gotta no four. I want you a Super Bowl. Give me four. Lock me up. Throw the key away. For I how, want you a Super Bowl. It's more than five years. That's for damn. That's like Six seven, years? eight years. Seven years, eight uh, years. You're getting seven, eight that's years. Seven, eight long. years. That's, that's not about to be no four they, years, bro. bro. I, if I'm Lamar, if if Lamar Jackson wins the Super Bowl this year, he's a running year, quarterback. Give, he's not a stand in the pocket. Give quarterback. me four hundred million. They're gonna have to adjust that. I promise point, you. Though. You're crazy. Give me four, I'm not bro. Crazy. No, not you. Him. Oh, yeah. Give Give it to me. Give it all. Yeah. 400 million. He Give gets, it all. If he gets a Super Bowl, maybe. Hell yeah. If he gets a Super Bowl, maybe. Yes. Mahomes is a billionaire, half a billionaire, bro, for 10 years. So, yeah. Yeah, but you're not eight. getting 10 years, that's what I'm trying to say. He's going to get eight years, 400, 350 million. And Lamar. 350 can, million is much different from 400 million. You don't it think is, Lamar can get off, six years, 250 out of him? He's going to get more than 250. I'm telling you, he's getting. If he Maybe, wins the Super look, Bowl, bro, he's getting more. Than look, nigga, we you we already <laughs> brought Mahomes' number down because we're saying, oh, maybe he'll do eight years still. Right. What if Mahomes? What if he's, they're, they're gonna Lamar only does six like of his six eight years, five, bro? Five he's not six. getting the full number, so it's gonna come down to two, three. No, it's gonna be five or six. If he wins the Super Bowl, five or six, bro, minimum. That's that's what I'm saying, bro. Are you going to? But not ten. No. No, definitely not ten. I I would never want. How are you gonna pay you four hundred mil then? Over they, six years, get to you know how much money that is. They'd front load him. Eight, and he nigga. deserves it. Bro, he deserves it. You should not him. do Bro, that. Bro, they type would front of load that. Do not do that number under eight years. Mahomes is not getting that under eight years. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. His is ten years. They'll front load it. All right, front load. Let's I don't wrap give it up, a fuck. Though. He's still at ten years, bro. <laughs> Shit. That's episode 102, <laughs> 102 of, of the Sports Week Podcast. Baby. My out, fucking dog. eye hurts. I don't know what's wrong with it, bro. Uh, you got to buy a lot of tickets. He's having an aneurysm. I got to buy a lot of tickets. I know. The guy See that guy win? Yeah, in bro. LA, dude. 400, 400 million. million mm. yeah. I follow that fucker on TikTok, dude. That's it. F- <laughs> you know him? <laughs> what? You know him. What? I know him. <laughs> Let's go get him. Anyways, y'all, if you like this His episode, Jimmy. Go, <laughs> go ahead and shout out like Garoppolo. Button, bust down those comments. Shout out to this guy and the subscribers. Shout out. And remember, remember, send the video to your friends. To you.
Hey, the liquor store that sold them the ticket gets a million dollars. Lesson here, folks, own liquor stores. Yeah, huh? And sell lotto tickets. Sell, sell them all. <laughs>